Guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your guest Stella. Today, I'm here to talk about what the UK uh, Metropolitan Police is advising. Advising wives in diaspora in the UK to stop sending out their husbands. The question is, why has there been a breakdown in marriages in the diaspora? Now, in when you are back in Africa, especially in Nigeria or maybe in other African countries, men have all the power, right? They have nobody listens to the woman sometimes, depending on the kind of family you marry from. Suddenly you come to the UK or you go to US and then you realize that, oh, hang on, my husband can't treat me anyhow. He can't go out late at night, come back, maybe drunk to hit me, or they realize that, oh, my husband can actually be, he has hands that God gave him that he can use to help me, oh, tidy the house, clean the house so that I don't die of overwork. Oh, my husband can actually be considerate and care for me. And then suddenly there's tension, whatever the problem is. Again, you ask yourself, how did this couple meet, these couples, you know? So, but for whatever their reason is, every marriage is different, every, but every marriage has problems, depends on how you resolve your conflict. If in Nigeria or back in Africa, a, a woman or, you know, cannot speak without her husband getting angry and shouting her down. And then suddenly she comes here, she has a voice. She's like, you can't talk to me like that. And the husband says, who are you talking to anyway? The house become hot. Or he's a husband that cheats. Or he's a wife that cheats. Whatever. Or suddenly the woman bill. Whatever the problem is, it becomes like, I can't take it anymore. Because you know, maybe the woman suddenly realizes that, or maybe she's been told that, oh, you don't have to take that kind of rubbish from your husband, you know? friends and people at work or whoever might advise you and say no 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 you don't have to do that you don't have to take that this is not africa you can just kick him out of the house and then you send the man away i'm not um assuming that any woman who does that is taking it lightly because i'm sure as a married woman you will give it a level of thought i'm hoping because it's not just your life involved you hopefully maybe you have kids you have families you know, the society at large wants you married. That's the truth. You know, God wants you married because you made a vow. I just want to reiterate the fact that, look, guys, when you got married, I'm hoping you made a vow in front, uh, made a vow, you made your vows in front of God and, you know, witnesses and everything. And that should hold some weight. It should make you want to work at your marriage. Okay, so your, your husband is cheating on you. Talk to him. Your husband is hitting you. Seek help. But if that is not the case, if he's not cheating or he's not slapping you or maybe there's emotional abuse because some people say, oh, he's emotionally abusing me or he's financially depriving me. Yes, you can scream for help. You shouldn't have to suffer in silence, but you can pray as well. When you pray, but you can talk to somebody. You can talk to somebody who's going to talk to both of you. So that if that is if your husband or your wife isn't listening. Are you a single man or a single woman who is looking to get married but hasn't met anyone or don't know where to get anyone? I'm starting a dating show called Dating to Marry on my YouTube channel, DSLR TV. If you are interested and you are serious, please send me a DM or leave me a comment. The first person you should talk to is your husband or your wife. If that fails, please, if you have parents... Or, or somebody the person listens to somebody the person fears i always advise single people marry somebody that tomorrow you can at least somebody he respects know the person your husband is it could be his pastor you know it, it could be somebody at work i don't know but if if you've tried everything at home and this person doesn't listen your wife or your husband doesn't, you've prayed and prayed and prayed and you can feel that you know you're falling out of love or he's reaching breaking point and all that it is time to cry for help. Suggest you go for therapy. If that doesn't work, talk to somebody elderly, somebody you he respects or she respects, you know. And it but the first solution is not about getting rid of the man or the husband. Please, this stop this your big man attitude that you bring from Africa. Life here is different, it's tougher in a different way, you know. Here you don't have like Helpers at home. So your, your wife can't do everything and still go to work. If she's a stay-at-home mom, even then, when you come home, you still need to help her. Because I'm telling you, raising children 
is the most difficult job that there is. Ask anybody who stays at home to look after kids. It's the most difficult job. So don't look down on whoever is at home. Respect each other. Honor each other. Honor your vows. May your marriage be blessed. But most importantly, table your issues. Talk about it. If you have grown-up children, even teenagers who listen, talk to your kids. You'll be amazed at how... You, you'll, be, you'll be surprised at how smart, wise teenagers are. They will give you advice. They can, your children can settle you. May God give you wisdom in your marriage in Jesus' name. May your marriage be blessed. Wife, please stop sending out your husband. Husbands, start treating your wives like the queens that they are. Like, share, and subscribe. Jesus loves you. Bye.